Hey YouTubers, it's me, Boricua Lopez, and today I'm going to teach you, well, first of all, I was playing around with my makeup because I got in my costume today, and I mean, I guess the risk that you take when ordering online is that it won't look right on you. The costume fit, but it didn't look right on me. Um, I was planning actually to be a 50s girl or a bobby soccer or whatever you want to call it. You know, those girls that wear the poodle skirts, you know, that were back in the day. Anyways, it looked horrible. Planning on returning it. Thank goodness the website I got it off of had a good um, return policy. Anyways, I was looking online at this um, Halloween store that we have in town, and they have a website, and I was just, like, looking through the outfits, and I found two that I really, really like. So I'm going to go to the store tomorrow and try them on. And um, one is Mother Nature. Um, and two is just a Greek goddess. And I was sitting playing with my makeup and thinking, let me see what makeup I would do. Because Mother Nature and Greek goddess, I feel like they would have very similar looks maybe a few things here and there would be different and for me personally but pretty much the look is pretty similar so this is kind of what I came up with and um, let me see if I can get you closer just a really bronzed face iridescence um, eyes uh, very um, I don't know this is my webcam so you probably can't see as well but I really like it, and my mom liked it, too. Anyways, I had p soft lip pinks on. Pinks on. Soft pink lipstick on, and it looked really nice. Um, but I thought, what if somebody wanted to punch it up a notch? Obviously, they could do that with their lip color. And I was doing my look, and I found a way to get you iridescent lips. And this is a trick that you can use with any lip color. Whether it be a red, a purple, um, a peach color, any color. So just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to go with this magenta color. And I'm just using um, Milani's Glitzy Glamour Gloss. And this color is, first, is in first class. So this will just be your base color. So you go ahead and take whatever lipstick, lip gloss you want. And then this is the color we're going to make really iridescent. Okay. So it has a it's high shine quality. It has a lot of pigmentation. So we just take that. And then from the same line, I'm just taking this pink. But this pink has a ton of iridescent in it. And it has like blue, kind of a blue tone in it. This one's called Struck by Beauty. So just take any pink that's kind of bordering on white or any pearl color and just take that and stick that right in the middle of your lip. Don't go too far and then just feather out the sides with your finger. Just kind of pat that in and then you want to do the same right above your cupid's bow. Or right below it, sorry. Right below your cupid's bow. And then you're just going to kind of pat that in. So as you can see, there's kind of already that like, that like almost like lights bursting out right of the center of our lips. So just to make it even more vibrant, you're going to go ahead and take any white or light pink pigment that you have. Um, I'm not so sure that it would work with just a press shadow, but just any pigment. And I'm just using this stack that I got from Icing like a year ago, and this is just the white color. So I'm just going to lightly dip my finger in it, take about that much, and then just pop that right in the center of my lip. And see how it looks like there's just like... And then do the same right below the cupid's bow. And then just push. And then just and then 
just keep working it in. This part takes a little work, but once you have it, it looks like there's like literally like light kind of beaming out of the center of your lip. And like I said, you can do this with any color. It makes your lips look fuller. Like me, I have really small lips. So this is a trick that I'm definitely going to be using from now on. Um, eh, sorry. So, yeah. You can do it with any lip color that you have. Like I said, doesn't matter what the color. You can do this with any of them. Um, yeah, the only thing I would do differently, like let's say you had red lips. I would keep the lip gloss that goes in the center of your lip about four to five shades lighter. So maybe you would want to go something with more of a purple tone in it. <clears throat> and then you could use the white pigment on top. So whatever is your base color, I would go about four shades lighter. So as mine is a good example, I use this purple magenta color and about four shades lighter was this light pink. So obviously purple is, I mean the red is a little bit deeper. So four or five shades lighter than a purple. Then a red would be a purple. Alright guys, I hope this helped. Um, hopefully my next video will be me bragging about my costume. Pray that I find something tomorrow because I have this party to go to on Friday. And I really would just like to have a costume set in stone. But anyways, um, who knows? We'll see. Crossing my fingers. Alright guys, well that's it for now. Um, we'll see if I turn out any more videos soon. But definitely I'll show you guys my costume whenever I get it. Bye guys.